Okay, so the question we now want to examine is to try and figure out why are housing prices increasing so quickly in California? Okay, so what we're going to try and do is incorporate you know, this information that you see in the slides okay, into our graph. Okay, so how we can start is we can actually draw the demand curve okay, for housing. Now, what is one of the things that we can also do is to incorporate this information that we sent here. Okay, that basically these things kind of combined make it more difficult to build. Okay, and then as a result, we can say that that's going to mean for supply that is less responsive. So what is going to be the shape then of the supply curve? Okay, it's still going to be upward sloping. But now it's going to be steeper. Okay. All right, so now that it's steep, and again, we have our initial equilibrium. So what happens when we incorporate, okay, what do happens when we incorporate, okay, this uh, changes of the income and the number of buyers. Okay, so remember what you saw from your notes from before, basically, or your slides from before, what happens is the demand is going to shift to the right. Okay, so the demand shifts to the right, and so what do we see in terms of the effect? Okay, well, as we normally have for a rightward shift of the demand curve, we have both the price and the quantity going up. P sub 1 to P sub 2, Q sub 1 to Q sub 2. Again, note, in terms of what happens, quantity is not changing by that much, but the price is. And again, the question is why? Okay, I, as we said in that previous you know, question we were trying to answer before, okay, what's happening here? Well, it's not the supply curve shifting, instead it's the demand curve shifting. And what happens, what's causing the price increase, is basically the supply curve. Supply curve being steep, in other words, being inelastic. Okay, supply is inelastic, and so that's why we get such a huge increase in the prices.